Karen Fraser and I lead Kratos, which is the advertising industry's think tank. For anyone that doesn't know us, we, we work for advertisers, agencies and media owners in the UK. And we've, over the last 10 years, we've produced over 30 reports which show how powerful and important advertising is to the UK economy. And in our signature report series, we've shown that advertising contributes 140 billion pounds to the UK economy. So one of the reasons why I'm absolutely thrilled to be here this morning is to celebrate this success story, to celebrate us, to celebrate our industry. This new work this morning that we'll launch with Enders Analysis is about the digitalization of advertising in the UK and why that's so important. An enormous amount has changed over the last 25 years and almost uh, now half of all spend on advertising is online. In 2018, it was 57%. And by 2020, we estimate that it will be 62%, so almost two-thirds of all the money spent on advertising in the UK will be on the internet. That has obviously made a huge difference to the media marketplace. Let's take a look at what has happened. So the pie has grown a lot, and search and online display has taken a very large part of the growth, with 28% and 23% of all advertising spend, respectively. Television, outdoor, cinema, and radio have remained fairly consistent, and obviously, news brands and magazines have faced decline, but even in their sector, there has been innovation, and readership in news has actually gone up over the last decade. So with such a lot happening and so much change, let's remind ourselves what the last 20, 25 years has looked like.
amazing amount of change and it makes you wonder what's going to happen in the next 25 years. At a time when we are feeling somewhat uncertain about our economic future, it's a great time to remind ourselves and take stock of why things are so good in the UK. So we're number one in Europe in terms of advertising spend. We're second only behind the US and China. And we are streets ahead of Japan and Germany, both of which have much bigger populations. And when you, did, when you express it in terms of GDP, the UK is the world leader. So what a wonderful position to be in. And doesn't it make you think, how can we retain that competitive advantage? So now I'd like to hand to Claire to explain what the factors that are driving this wonderful growth and how we can embrace it and consolidate it for the UK. Um, thank you very much. Thank you to the IAB for having me back. I absolutely adore these annual moments where we can take stock and as Karen said, we're in a particularly tricky political situation right now, so the power of this story is much more important right now for us to really reckon on where our future lies, where the economic strength of the UK is going. So for a very long time, the UK has led internet economies around the world with the richness of the behavior and the spread of activity across really 70% of the population. So this chart shows the progression since 2010 of e-commerce, which is the highest in the world at well over a thousand pounds per capita in the UK. And that demonstrates the extraordinary level of economic activity through companies and also through uh, self-activity, which the UK has manifested for really about 12 years since the financial crash. And this is driven by an extraordinary range of factors which are unique to the UK, an unbelievable mix of high levels of education, a willingness to work and a refusal to retire. 70% of all new jobs created in the last 20 years have gone to people who are aged 50 plus. And also, those people and everyone in the population has adopted broadband, uh, smartphones, iPads, you name it. So we actually have the most active over 50 economically, technologically group of people and also they're extraordinary in terms of the range of consumption. The reason why online ad spend and internet, re internet retail spend track so closely is because Basically, people are looking at an extraordinary range of different products, different brands. They're changing their minds about that. They're them, they're seeking information about them. And they're also uh, actually consuming a vast amount of media from TV to a myriad of online phenomena. This is the most complex and dynamic environment in the world today. And this is a unique underlying economic success story. We heard through the Brexit ref that there was going to be cataclysmic effects on all these major businesses in the UK. That's great. There are a lot of very big businesses in the world and they're very significant advertisers, they're global businesses. But this story in the UK, what is driving consumption and the strength of the employment of the UK, which is absolutely remarkable, is in fact a culture of experimentation, an ease of doing business, and a desire to create businesses which is like no other. If we had not just put the US, which is the famous heart of entrepreneurship, the guy in the garage in California, that doesn't compute for our country. Our country is constantly creating across a huge range of services, new products and so on. And it is not scale that matters to these businesses. It's sustainability. It is creating lives that matter for those people who are going there and getting employed and actually creating new business opportunities is something that we do extraordinarily well. And Brexit has had a negative impact. You can see that the line has fallen markedly, 
but it is still the strongest in the developed world, and it is still something that has enormous promise. It has enormous promise for young people, for middle-aged people, and for those people slightly older than middle-aged, including one standing in front of you, who are running those businesses and, and who will create the opportunities for employment. That is also driving the increase in wages that we've seen, which is again unique to the UK. You look around Europe, you're looking at inflexible labor markets that are particularly adverse for people under the age of 35, really adverse. That is not the picture here. But we pay too much attention to the under 35s here, and I urge you to look at the broad brush of economic activity and of consumption, and, and, and to really understand that all of these audiences and of consumers, all of these types of people are incredibly dynamic, incredibly interesting, and changing all the time. Just, I hope, like you are. So you can see that this picture is of 800,000 net new businesses through the digital economy. And you can see that most of these small businesses have been enabled and their growth is enabled in future through uh, online advertising tools in order for them to become much more significant in terms of reaching their own customers. Many of these businesses are consumer to consumer business, B to consumer businesses, but they're also B to B businesses. And so there's an incredible richness in this story. And this is why our economy will not crash regardless of the political crisis that we're in. You can see the strength is across the board. And yes, we have gigantic companies that are responsible for tens of thousands of employees, but we also have an extraordinary long tail of businesses in tech that are very, very significant in terms of giving opportunities to people across the board, particularly young people, to learn the skills of creating their own businesses in future, which I hope you guys all do. It's tremendous fun. Um, now, there are some issues that have faced the creation of new businesses and the underlying power of, of e-commerce and of all forms of the digital economy in the UK. Brexit has been number one, but despite Brexit, aggregate advertising grew by 6.3% last year, and we do not expect advertising to ever fall below a positive number for the, at least the next five years. So we're looking at very, very positive continuation, but a coming off steam, which, which is, has been tricky. We've seen the impact, of course, in, in the GDP numbers, which have been very attenuated. That is not the country. I want a country that is tap dancing its way into a very successful future. So the impact of Brexit has also been that there are fewer companies that want to invest in the UK. That has affected the creation of businesses, particularly in ad tech. It has affected the creation of businesses across the board. It has also affected investment in existing businesses. So I pray that the resolution of that trauma will cause a pickup in the flows of venture capital, which, as we point out in our report, have always been above average in the UK. And why not? This is the most active market to be part of, and it is the only one in the world where you don't have to be ginormous or have access to American capital markets to survive, prosper, and be sustainable. There are also other issues than the economic backdrop. In particular, the emergence of internet advertising has also caused a corresponding explosion in fraud and in a number of consumer abuse issues, particularly of underage uh, uh, groups, particularly children, age five to 10, access to material which is extraordinarily harmful. There has been very little progress uh, on these issues in the many years that I've been dealing with child protection online. And those issues do dog the industry. And I think we will see in the next year uh, a, a pressure growing for there to be results that can be visible, cleaning up the environments. Advertisers do not want to be in untrustworthy environments or have their advertising placed next to material that is directly harmful to anyone who is going to consume or anyone at all. Certainly not in this country. And as a result, I very much hope that the issues that are dogging uh, trust in online advertising and in the material that is presented to individuals online, that those trust factors improve. 
Anyway, so it leads me to say, this is an extraordinary story. I hope you're as proud of it as I am. I'm an immigrant here, and I am so proud to tell you this amazing story of our wonderful country and the impact that the digital economy has had in creating a wonderful future for us all. Thank you.